Hey guys, it's Dwight. I'm back. So, I just want to let you know what's wrong with this picture. And tell me if you can figure it out. It has something to do with the canvas not being level. As you can see how these cells all got stretched out over time and going over the edge. So that's super frustrating, uh, especially doing a dump and pour because some of these cells are phenomenal. And I don't know if this is worth saving. Um, some of these center cells are interesting. They look overstretched. Hmm. I'm not sure what to think. I'm disappointed because it like it acted and reacted so quickly and things were moving. It was awesome. I did have some trouble um, leveling my canvas at the beginning of this before I went live, so to speak, before the previous pour. But I thought I had a pretty level. I have a level and all four sides were, were pretty equal. So I don't know what happened. Um, my other thought was that the paint, there was still too much paint on the canvas and so it displaced some of the other paint, sort of causing it to look like it is running off um, the canvas. Oh, so sad. There we go, some up close. Look at that, I think that is so cool looking. Right in here. Sorry for my shadow. I mean, it's still kind of cool. I know me, I'm a perfectionist, so I'll probably either scrape it or, I don't know, figure out, do something else with it. I mean, from a distance, it looks kind of cool. But it's the details up, up close that really frustrate me. Let me go to the other side here, and I'll show you if I can get down here without the glare. See, it's, it's, all, it's all like run off the edges. Ah, so frustrating. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to keep on going. I, I just love the way these turned out, though. Look at those. Like these, they're like pillows. They're just fascinating. Okay, you guys have a good rest of the day, and keep painting, and let's see what happens next.